Hello people, I'm Ferti and this is Imperator Rome. Welcome back. After a few days. After a weekend with no uploads. And for that I do apologize. I had some other things to do. Simply put. I noticed the fact that we have a, del a, f a few disloyal provinces. Which means we might have a big rebellion on Sardinia, 137 pops. That's not a lot, really, but I would still try and just avoid it from happening. So, local autonomy, which apparently changed that. Uh, Dalmatia, I think, is already on uh, local autonomy. And Sardinia, the other one, should also go for local autonomy. Try and make people a bit happy with their lives. Because apparently they're not that happy right now. Which is sad. I want them to be happy. But I also want to do is try and keep on expanding. And I also want, want you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I feel like it was a long time ago since I mentioned that on this campaign. Particularly. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Okay, we're trying to do this task. We are going to go in for Sicily. That's basically the idea behind this episode. Clamoring for glory. Even with our recent successes, it is surprising how quickly the people of Rome have become accustomed to the idea of our indefatigability. I don't even know what that word means. Spurred on by soldiers, trinkets and stories, crowds proclaim the invincibility of our forces. Citing them as proof Rome is loved dearly by the gods, and demanding further campaigns and conquest against our neighbors. Oh, pardon. I think I'd rather have this one though. I think it works out better. We need this thing to go down. It's going to happen eventually, I think. Yeah, I think they really have nerfed the political influence. I feel like that's the case. This is going to take forever. Uh, why does it take so long? Is it because of like my aggressive expansion? It, it might. It, that, this might have something to do with this. I don't know. Like why it's taking so long? Because it's taking an insane amount of time to in, to integrate Veneto. It may also have to do with the size. Veneto is such a big kingdom or tribe that that is, might be the reason why it's difficult to integrate them. I don't actually know. That, that might just be the case. And I think that's actually kind of reasonable as an explanation. Okay. There's still a, a lot of small guys here from where the Antigonids collapsed. And it feels like the Seliquids are having some issues as well. The drums of war. The mood in Rome is once again, once again, a one of hopeful trepi trepidation of the calm before the storm. They use a lot of words I don't particularly know. Of the wistful yearning of fresh-faced soldiers for the spoils and adventure of war. Rome stands on threshold of everlasting glory. The fates and future of all the people of the world perhaps lie in our hands. Much will be decided in the coming days. Roma Invicta. Oh, it's finished. Good. Did we get some CBs we might have? Do I have a CB on you? I think I already had one. I don't have one. Shouldn't I have gotten one? It's because I went for peaceful rather than... I think I might... I think I might have effed that one up. But it's not... Are you serious? Um, go for Sikuli. I need to claim on them. I'm going to go for... Koshika is not rich nor populous. It must be taken control. It must be taken to control the Western Mediterranean and keep its harbors out of the hands of the Greek and Punic colonizers. Corsica is the smallest and most rugged of the world westerly islands, but its success as a Fucaean, Fushian, Fucaean trading post and Etruscan port are a testament to the value of its harbors. I'm gonna use Alaria and secure Sardinian coast. Uh, doesn't exist, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. Secure Sardinian coast. 
Punic merchants have dominated Sardinian, furthering the trade interest and naval presence. We must drive the Carthaginians from the island and secure its ports for ourselves. We have secured the most important parts of the island of Sardinia, commanding its main cities, coastlines and harbors, ensuring our enemies have no ports of call. Uh, I think Kerala is the actual uh, uh, capital city of that place. Right, I need to take, I need to take Sicily. Um, settling Koshika or unruly unrest. This is quicker. So, outcome depends on choices. The Sardinians are legendary for the opposition of foreign invaders, deterring Carthaginian domination of the island. You must be ready for the inevitable backlash. That sounds a bit worrying, you know? I guess I'm gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, they are feeling a bit unhappy about me, to be honest, so... I do think I have forces enough though to deal with them. Pirate Haven in Olbia. I think we can deal with some pirates. Pirates. Uh, Punic Pops. I would rather they actually go away. Population output goes down. Pop assimilation speed goes up though. So uh, let them go away. I don't particularly care about and I can finally colonize another place I'm going to. Haucha. Or something like that. I think that's basically what it means. I think it's, this was because, because those people went away. Our officials have been having a miserable time working with the proud locals in Sardinia. Many have taken to isolated communities in the mountains, living on banditry and piracy. One of the leaders now demands Sardinian self-rule as a vassal tribe. The idea is deeply unpopular in Roma, but could free us from an endless insurgency of attrition. No. And they will probably uh, revolt. I think that's absolutely sure, so what I might just do is that I'm going to take you guys and I'm gonna put you on picking those guys up because I think I'm gonna have to deal with the kind of big rebellion in a little while, potentially. The Sardinian question. The local magistrate of Sulcis Terranium report that Sardinians have burned down many of their vital buildings. The scoundrels coordinated coordinated a night attack and were long gone before a reaction could be mobilized. The ingenious people are clearly doggedly opposed to Roman rule. We lose a mine. Okay, so a lot of things are happening. It's like a guerrilla warfare thing happening. And we gain an advance. Also, how are you feeling, Gurgis? Would you like to become... You have gout, I know. Do you have a child? Uh, you have two of them. Fabia and Camellius. Camellius is okay, I guess. Uh, he could get... I would like him to get married. But what I want to do, actually... I think my, gov my guy is actually popular enough to... Um, we already have the this thing. So what I think we could do now, actually, in order to advance this, ensure national stability. Yes, we can. Nobody else in our government has what it takes to ensure that our precious constitution remains pure of spirit. For the good of the people of the Republic, we must ensure a stable future. About um, 150 years too late early? I have no problem. He's going to be governor for life, basically. And then I probably want one of those two things. This is easier to do. I just need an innovation and I can do this. But if I do this, we will not have a civil war. So I need... I would need 50 tyranny, though. That sounds like, like what Caesar did. We lose his 25 stability and political influence. We became a dictatorship. We become a dictatorship. Okay, this will be a, a civil war, uh, depending on how, I guess if we are very stable, it will not be a big issue. Um, okay, we are not going to get a new council, at least, that's something, in a very long time. 
So if you look at like which which would be the successor for now, he, he's actually kind of decent. And that's the I think that's the son of this dude. Yeah, it is. That's fine. Right, I need to embark you guys, and you need to go to Sardinia. Um, which one is worse? This one for now. So go here. Stay there for a while. While I try and first, I will try to integrate those guys. I try to get a claim on these guys, which will happen eventually. So that's a good thing. Yes. And the aggressive expansion is going down actually kind of rapidly, so I like it. I like it. I don't like this though. Okay, it's done. Sardinian Uprising. The local Nurgic people in the vicinity of this place have risen up in open rebellion against us. They're under the united leadership of Underdash ruler who promised to rid the motherland of Roman invaders. The fools will all die. Yes, they will. Because I did arrive and I'm going to kill you. And I think I might just have a second rebellion because of this in a, in a while, in a few different places. Settling Koshika. We must look to founding settlements along the entire coastline of Koshika to ensure no Greek or Punic settlers can again get a foothold and that the entire island pays Roman taxes. We have secured the most more hostile parts of Koshika, threatened by Greek, Phoenician and Etruscan traders. Now we should encourage the settlements of the entire island to consolidate under our control ensuring that it doesn't fall into the hands of our enemies and that it, all its resources, people and ports serve the Roman states. Post notices in Alfora, your country needs you. Okay, so we need people to basically go and settle in those places. If I just go and siege this down, I'm going to win. It's okay. But we were going to have some big rebellion soon, potentially in Dalmatia. I need to do something about that. Colonizing Ropicon, which is that place. Our first colony in Koshiki will be at Ropicon. Scouts sent ahead, cautiously avoiding confrontations with the locals have confirmed its suitability for the small group of settlers. Landless freemen from Amiternum in Pisenum. Um, I could do a normal one or I could pay gold for aggressive colonization. I could pay some gold for an aggressive one. So we gain a new place. There's only two places that I don't pretty own in Ukushika now. And I need the stability as well as popularity, so that's okay. Right. Yeah, they're trying to siege me down. Give me some work, Sarshan. That's fine. Struggles in Ropicum. We have received word that the Roman colony in Koshika has been struggling. It appears our settlers were not quite as brave as they imagined and have tired of the harsh life on the frontier. They long to return to the comforts and safety of Roma and civilization. Um, I guess pace and gold are not stay. That's fine. Just siege this place down, guys. You can do it. They're too scared to do anything about me. Not gonna happen. Yes, it's not. Happen. Colonizing Aluka. It needs a solid foundation. From Ostia. It's okay. There's only one place left on Koshika that we haven't colonized so far. That's fine. And we have a new Olympiad. And the games should, of course, be held. And Aluka, we have received word that the Roman colony at Aluka is doing remarkably well. In fact, some of the ingenious people are so enamored by our settlers' ingenuity and custom that they have all but abandoned their traditional ways and taken up alongside Romans. Oh. Two times that's the culture of we get two free Romans, I guess. That's a bit weird. Um. I'm just going to wait until we can take everything that belongs to them. So I can win. You know, that's what I want. 
and it will happen. So that's a good thing. Mo I feel like the Maurians have civil wars all the time. It does make sense, it's a big, big kingdom, or empire, which is basically the entirety of, well, it, uh, India. And India is huge. We have colonized the entirety of Kashyyyk now, so that's great. We don't even think we have to kill them. Let's go wait till we have those places. And they're struggling. Um, they have taken offense. Why would I want to do that? There's nothing to be done. You just let the guy be killed. It doesn't matter. I don't care. I'm gonna take this guy down now. Did we go. We actually get one aggressive expansion. Which is a bit weird because I own this place from the beginning. So I shouldn't get a good expansion from taking it back. I really don't think so. But apparently we did. Which of course is a bit weird. And Orkinium was successful now. Good. So Land of Tyrants. Syracuse. Sicilian uh, Foothold first. I want to take his, the entire of Sicily in one go, I think. So when we have um, done that. Sarusim. I feel like the Roman guys never win the Olympiad. It's a bit surprising, you would know. But that's just the case. Oh, something just happened in Selicate Empire. They have a big revolt thing going on. Or a big one. It's a kind of big one. And the Parthians are spreading out, it seems like, as well. Or the Bactrians. Aluka is struggling. Pay them gold so they understand that things will work out just fine. And we gain the CB on Sicily. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take you guys. Uh, we're gonna take the bigger of you two navies. And I'm gonna put you there instead. So don't mix you up. We're gonna try and take Sicily out. And now this place is successful as well. It's great. So, what I want to do with you, I want to embark you on that navy. I want you to move closer and closer. Um, what I just might want to do is try and just... I don't know how strong these guys are. Like, how strong is, might the levy be? Probably kind of strong. Um, you know. So, I don't want to take any risks. So, you're going to go here. Then I'm gonna siege this down as, quick, as soon as we start the war. Hopefully we don't get a revolt thing happening at the same time. Hopefully. I'm gonna need Levy to help out with this. Just make sure I can siege everything down into course. And in, in small enough time to have no friends. So that's a good thing. Yeah, we have a lot of disloyal provinces. And they're struggling. And I have to spend more money on those struggling colonias. Which is a bit annoying, but I do sure can pay for it. I have no issue at all paying for it. So I'm gonna take the entirety of Sardinia. I do need some levy. I'm gonna take the Magnagration one, I think. I don't think I need any more. Doesn't feel like I need any more at least. I'm gonna work, walk, work. I'm gonna walk down there. I'm gonna walk down, take this fortress down. The navy is gonna stay there. Um, it's a good. This is a good fortress as well. It's a bit annoying. For some reason, I already. Ah, oh, because I'm blockading them. I see. Makes sense. And you are doing success. Great. I like when it's all red. It's pretty. It's really pretty. At least in my opinion. I think I feel like we're doing good. When you look at like historical standpoint, like where are we in the history? Things are actually going okay. I feel like things are going okay. For like where the Romans were at this time in history. Really. Yeah. So that's their actual that's the legion. It's a legion that. That's a legion. Um, I think this navy is big enough to take those guys. Um, oh, they're actually trying to attack me. Because they're actually joining in with more troops. I should go and help them out. Because this might go badly. It didn't go badly because we won before they were able to come in with reinforcements. 
Kushik is now under our control thanks to our brave settlers, but it can by no means be considered a Roman island. Our new towns will need time to become productive, but aggressively pursuing Romanization may ensure their pass passivity, starting with introducing them to the gods' true forms. Yes, I want Romanization. Yes, I do. That's exactly what I want. Okay, stop. No, you can't. Go out on the ships. And I'm gonna go and park you somewhere else where you can siege down. I didn't even need to do that. No, I did. You go ahead and siege this place down. Um, those guys. You should go for the next fortress up here. And take that one down. I'm gonna take this navy and park you here as well. So you can just make sure that we locate them where I want to. Okay, so you guys land here what's happening we have some barbarians in roman lands can i pay you off how much do you want you want a lot of gold it's not an issue i can pay them off it's okay i could have just raised my levy but it doesn't really matter i have the money for it and that's a really roman way to deal with things the Romans like to pay off barbarians. They did it all the time, you know. So it's not unreasonable for me to pay them off. We stack wipe those guys. That's great. Do we have the blockade going? Yes, we do. Good. And we have one here as well. Yes, we do. Great. The entirety of Sicily will soon be Roman. Will soon be ours. There's nothing else we can go for here right now, because we need uh, first this one, then those ones. Which we will get in one go, then this one, then this one. Hmm, yeah. That's great. So, Romans. What did they pay off, by the way? Yes, I think they were. Yeah, we have a lot of Roman pops now, 2,000. I think we feel like we have doubled them in a very short amount of time. So they have a revolt thing going on right now, which I'm actually fighting against. So I need to take that one down. Seliquid, the loyal forces won. Okay, so the Seliquids managed to take that revolt down. Not that surprising. I didn't expect anything less of them. I didn't. So I need to siege this revolt thing down as well then. Oh, we won. Great. Um, I'll take this fortress down then. Try and take down the revolt. The revolt thing has to go down. Hopefully this guy will win soon. Like in the next tick. You know. And they did. So that's great. I want to take down the revolt before... Um, I try and do anything else. I feel like that's a reasonable way to deal with things. You know. uh, Someone is dead. Uh, he was a researcher. My oratory researcher. I'm so gonna replace him with this 39 year old guy. Um, this is a good researcher though. So I'm gonna go for him instead. Yes, I'm going to. Kill those guys, great. Um, I wanna try and take this place back to my control, which my allies are already doing. So go up here, kill those guys, and things will be done. We take both guys down in then just one go. And thankfully our aggressive expansion is now gone. So that's a good thing. I'll try and kill those guys. Uh, go, go this way instead, just block them off. They're not going to be able to walk away from me. Or they're not going to be able to run away from me, bother. Okay, they're trying to walk here. Yes, they are trying to kill my ally. But they managed to run away. We managed to catch them and we absolutely smashed them. Yes, we did. That's great. One of the soldiers has the reputation of a man blessed by the gods of war himself. Fighting with a frenzy unlike any other. Some of our other soldiers question why he's not being promoted after all of his heroic deeds during the war, while others treat him as some sort of demigod. 
Yeah, yeah, sure. A new character. And we won the siege. And now we will finish both of these wars. Because that's what I want. Right, let's take those guys down. With a terrible commander. Uh, just give this to me. I take it down in war. That's what I want. Yes, it is. That's a volcano. Interesting. And this should be 100%. That one, I'm gonna finish this one first. Time to take this. That's three aggressive expansion, probably because I don't have a CB on it. Uh, I think that's the reason. If you have a CB on something, it costs less. Uh, banish people. And then I'm gonna finish this one. Defending liberty. Yeah, roaming claim minus 50%. Having a claim on things just decreased aggressive expansion by a lot. So that's the only way we want to have claims on things. The city of Syracuse has finally fallen to our troops and is now in our hands. Syracuse has been the capital of the Syracuse and despots for a longer time. They even call them tyrants. A center of learning and technology in Magna Gratia. The cities have a lot of struggles with the Carthaginian neighbors to the southwest, as well as several conflicts with the other Greek city-states in the region. How should we treat it? Uh, I'm not gonna... Ooh, Syracuse and technology. Hmm. It becomes a settlement, though. That's not something I particularly want. So, I'm gonna treat them with dignity, you know? And we get some things as well. I'm gonna take down my levy first before I do anything else. Disband you guys. Yes, that's awesome. And you should probably go back here. Uh, as should I do with my legion, to be fair. So, actually, stop, stop. stop. To go here, pick those guys up so you can take them to Sardinia. A decision. Sulfurous investments. A roaring trade in sulfur has begun sweeping the Mediterranean. Who are we to pass up such a lucrative opportunity? All that remains is to acquire a means of production. That's incredible. From religious purification to exotic dyes. The otherwise foul-smelling substance, sulfur, can be used in manners various. The trade in this substance grows ever more valuable, however, as philosophers and scientists look to enhance the production of valuable metals by using it in wondrous processes. It would be wise to cash in on this growing phenomenon. Most interesting. Yes, it is. Sicilian foothold. Eh? Oh, this one. C Sicilia, price of the Mediterranean, battlegrounds of Greeks and Punics. Syracuse bravely withstood the Athenian invasion, but by securing Messana, we will succeed where they failed. Yes, we will. Uh, yeah, with the strategic crossing of Messana itself. Makes sense. And then we should go for this one. Syracusan and Acragan tyrants has, have brought misery to Sicilia and Brutium, such as the Brazen Bull of Phaleris. If you don't know what the Brazen Bull is, you could look it up. It was basic. I think I mentioned this before. It was a bowl made out of bronze, which was basically hollow. And you, if you didn't like a guy, you put him inside the bowl. It had, it had an opening. It was inside the bowl, and then you lit a fire underneath the bowl. Which made you basically cook the person alive inside the bowl. And the innovator who built the bowl was such an innovative guy, he made a lot of this thing looked like a bowl, of course. He made a lot of po like pipes and stuff inside the bowl. So when the person screamed, the sound that came out of the bowl was actually it sounded like a bowl roaring. So to the amusement of people around. And when the tyrant saw the bowl, he was like, okay. Can a person really go in there? Can you show me? So the guy went into the bowl, they closed the bowl and they left the fire. And then they let him out when he was almost dead and they threw him off a cliff to kill him. He never got paid. Because the tyrant was actually, he was a tyrant, but he was actually kind of surprised by how terrible the thing was. 
but it, did, it didn't stop him from using it later down the line. He used it a lot that time. I don't remember the name of him. But he had, actually, <coughs> as a sort of a justice, that tyrant was, uh, they, had, they were like a rebellion or an invasion of something of Syracuse. And when they captured the tyrant, they actually put him inside the bull himself, and he was cooked to death inside the bull. So some kind of perverted justice is that. He was killed like he had killed so many people before. I will, of course, Circus, which have withstood the Athenian expedition and birthed the most depraved tyrants, has finally fallen. Their lands have returned to Italic rule, though they prepare to find cities for us to move into. Of course, Syracuse. Punic Sicilia. The Carthaginian determination to hold Sicilia is fierce, persisting despite Agotocles' invasion of Carthage. We will succeed where he failed and drive them back across the sea. We have at last taken the jewel of the Carthaginian trading empire. May they rot in the African heat while the riches of Sicilia and her great cities are laid bare to us. Yeah, little bit. And basket bread. I feel like I'm speaking a lot right now. Sicilia is famed for the abundance and excellence of its wheat. Securing this valuable cornucopia will ensure the food supply of Roma and her legions for the foreseeable future. That sounds nice. I'm gonna try to start doing this thing, then we have this thing, then we're done. And for the next episode, we're gonna keep on expanding, probably deal with some rebellions and stuff. Not particularly nice, if you ask me. You can go back up here now. Um, not particularly nice, as I said. But uh, this went well. We have a, ourselves a little Mediterranean empire, really. We almost have a dictator for life. When it comes to the government form with the... <coughs> pardon. Princeps Civitis. This thing. The first citizen. The Princeps. He didn't... Uh, Augustus never called himself emperor or king. He called himself princeps, as they say here, first citizen. Because the Romans didn't want the king. Because they had kings before and they toppled the king because they didn't like having a king. So calling yourself a king was really not, not something that you could do. So the emperors for a very long time didn't call themselves emperors. They called themselves like um, princeps, for example. Um, the later Byzantines, they call themselves autocrat of the Romans, which basically is leader, administrator, something like that. They did start calling themselves emperors in the, or kings in the later de days, like with Hadrian and Trajan and those guys, of course. But in the beginning, they didn't, because the, they didn't want to be seen as an emperor, although they actually were an emperor at the same time, or a king, depending on how you see it. But I'm gonna take a break here, guys. So if you have enjoyed, make sure to like this video. Also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already so you don't miss out on any future content in this campaign. And do leave a comment down below if, you, if there's something you wanna talk about. So thanks for watching, see you soon, take care.